Isn't it chic? And these nails are pretty good for four weeks. And a honey one in the Dominican Republic. I can't believe you didn't go dance any merengue. How do you go to the Dominican Republic and not dance any merengue? Oh. They didn't have any live entertainment or anything like that at the resort? That sucks. Hi, Mary. That would have been cool if, you know, they had like merengue or live dancing. So the country's open, but you can't really do anything then? I mean, they have like a casino, but they were only open for a little bit of time. No nightclubs? Did you have to wear a mask when you were out and about or no? Um, not when you're out and about, but when you're going into the restaurant, you have to wear a mask until you sit down. Was the casino nice? No. No? Oh my gosh. Like an old Vegas casino? Ooh. Did they have coins coming out of them? No. Honestly, it's looking cute, Max. Thank you. Me too. And now we're on the BB Satin train. Which BB Satin is velvet mixed with ultra fine glitters. So trending right now in Eastern Europe. For the fantasy. Shape, shape, shape in these phalanges for the fantasy. Oh, you guys, I forgot to announce this on Instagram, but uh, starting October 1st or October 3rd, I can't remember the date, our shipping rate is going to go up domestically. Not by a lot, it's going to be roughly around a dollar because the post office is raising it. Yes. For three months. So the, the, the spike uh, ends like December something, but then it goes up again permanently in January. I'm telling you, that's here. She's going to just finish watching the new Disney Harmony show at Epcot. Hi, how was it? Did you go to Epcot? That must be nice. Hi from Milwaukee. So unfortunately, it is beyond my control. I do not want to um, raise the price on any of our products, but we unfortunately do have to raise the price very, very um very very uh, little on our shipping because of the post office I wish I could do something let's all write a letter to the postmaster general it's like why would you raise it for three months and then stop and then raise it again permanently that makes no sense no I wish I watched it live in the Disney park oh I need to check it out then What does what mean? For the girls, for the children, for the fantasy? Exactly that. For the girls, for the children, and for the fantasy. And you are watching the fantasy happen live. It is the fa We are the fantasy. This is the fantasy. Ah. Bonjour. So unfortunately, we do have to raise our shipping rates just a little bit. At least we're not charging like an arm and a leg like some other nail companies are charging for shipping. I've heard lots of stories of people saying like, Oh my gosh, you're charging so much for shipping. I'm not going to order. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I remember we still are going to have free shipping on any order over uh, 150 Right now we're using the diamond prep bit to remove any dry non-living tissue and begin the preparation of the fantasy. Awesome! I hope you love everything that we've just been dropping. The rebrand for the diamond holic I think is so pretty. If you haven't checked it out, go on inocouture.com. The new rebrand is really fun. The packaging is super, very diamond-esque. And the new diamond holics are really, really lovely. Oh, awesome! Thank you, I hope you love it! Awesome, there is a little bit of delay with shipping, but it's not too, too bad. It's around, I want to say like 14 days or so, but 
usually the most people get their orders sooner. Okay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Black diamond. Um, October. It's tomorrow, October? Oh, no. Friday. Friday, October. No, more closer towards like, the middle of the month, I would say. The first 14 days. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Just really gently going in with the diamond moonbeams. Oh, thank you. What was that? You should be good. Happy National Coffee Day! Are you a coffee drinker, Andrea? No? Awesome! I hope you love everything. We appreciate it. It's such a revolution. Wow! So that means we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. That was fast! It's because they know it's you. And no spaghetti writers. So we're going to go in with a coat of nail prep and then a coat of primer. So last night and me and my craziness, I was watching this um, theory on YouTube about how The Wizard of Oz is an analogy for the political scene of the late 1800s. Does Lucy Franks have new products? Uh, she does. She doesn't have all of them, but she just got a um, new shipment uh, last week, I think. Me? Not anymore. Bye! Yes. Petrified of Freddy Krueger. Awesome! Did you get the Halloween stickers? So this singer that's singing right now actually, do you know Ursula from The Little Mermaid, the witch? This is who they based it on. Yeah, it's a drag queen. It doesn't that look like yeah. Ursula the Sea Witch? You guys, this is who they based Ursula from The Little Mermaid off. It's a drag queen named Divine. Who died? Jackie says, what about Melanie? Does she have a name too? Um, I think so. I would not be the person to ask. I would, you know, I would suggest you contact your distributor directly because I, uh, I don't work in that department. I'm sorry. I work in research and development and new content creation. So I I'm sorry. That's right. Especially our eyelashes and our makeup sponges are they're sickening. to use our Glide, which is our slip solution. It is the lubricant for the brush. And we're going to overlay. Um, yes, they're like, they're not twins, but they're paternal. They're paternal twins, they're not identical twins. Like yours, they're paternal twins, they're not identical twins. It smells like watermelon, it's so delicious. So this product is great because you have so much control over it because it will not dry until you put it inside the lamp. What are you feeling? Uh, pink cream aqua gel. Some Bollywood music for the girls, for the children, and for the fantasy. I think that's funny when people ask that, like, what does that mean? Like, I don't even like hear it. <laughs> I'm just so used to it. It's so second nature, huh? To be honest with you, I don't even know what it means.
personal choice. There really is no like super major difference, but we did want to make one in a jar just to have another option for the girls and for the children and for the fantasy. Some people don't like squeezing it out, especially if they have limited mobility. And then after you did like the whole big wedding thing, would you do it again or no. would you be like, no, it wasn't worth it? I mean, it was totally worth it, but I wouldn't do it again. No? It was so stressful. It was, it was almost late to <laughs> Oh my gosh! I didn't start until 5.20 because I literally ran into the venue, put my dress on. I mean, oh, you weren't even ready? Yeah. The hair and makeup was ready? Yeah, hair and makeup was done. But clothes? No. I ran in there to get ready. Like, we couldn't even do the cute pictures, you know? Like, you know how I do those. Getting ready yeah, and everything. But she got some really good pictures, so... I like the one in the desert where your dress is flowing. Did you see the one like a tree? I think so, oh, yes. Gorgeous. I can't wait to be at all of them. After they do like color correction and lighting and everything. They did a really good job. I would definitely recommend them too. And my flower girl, amazing. Amazing. I had an issue travels all over the states to the weddings. Wow. Yeah, she's magnolia and lace. Uh-huh. Amazing. But you wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't do it again. You're like, it's out of my system. It's done, yeah. So who had the bigger wedding, you or your sister, when she had her big wedding? I don't know. Or were they about the same? About the same? Yeah. I mean, I had like a harpist. She didn't. <laughs> that sounds so like angelic though, like a harpist. It's like that just made everything perfect. That really took it to a whole nother level, huh? Yeah. And the DJ, was he good? Yeah. Everything was really good. The food was good. Everything was good. What'd you have? I only saw a picture of um, a salad. Oh, we had chicken parmesan. Mm -hmm. And then um, salad and bread. Mm -hmm. um, like vegetables. Vegetables. So like, what do you call it? Like normal wedding food. Well, it wasn't all barbable bowl or rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, that's like quinceanera food yeah. too. Every quinceanera you go to, you gotta have. And one tortilla. Yeah, and, uh, macaroni salad. Macaroni salad. <laughs> but, like, what do you call it? Like, was it good or was it like hotel no, food? Really good. Yeah. Everybody said that they were very shocked that the food was so good. And the cake? The cake was good. The cake was pretty. So everything was on point. Very like New York chic. Yeah, really nice. Even Bethany and Manny were like, this is so pretty. They're like, it wasn't too much and it wasn't too little. It was just perfect. Balance. Yeah. Okay. Weddings are expensive, let me tell you. Let's bake that one minute. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like a wedding nowadays is at least $10,000, and that's like a cheap wedding, huh? Wait, $10,000 was just our venue. Wow. And the wedding wasn't like super, like, 500 people or anything like that. A hundred. Wow. Inflation. Yeah. The color of the aperture is gorgeous. Isn't it? Army stickers. Uh, soon. We're actually working on some stuff like that, but we have to wait for the trademark to go through. And that takes a little while. Trademarks and patents and all that jazz. Did your parents cry? No? Nobody cried? No? Did you cry? No? Ray? No? The face is thick as a dumb taco. A pink is that thick. Pick it up, here. 
gonna wipe them. We're gonna remove the oxygen inhibition layer. Yes, A pinks are ab about the same viscosity. Did you get a lot of gifts? Much. Really? I mean, I did get some really nice gifts, though. Do you have a registry or no? Like a plunger, that's always an important, <laughs> that's always an important, um, present. Luggage. I go through luggage like I go through underwear. They treat your luggage so bad at the airport. Yes, I saw that. Wait, our luggage had like black lines on it, like somebody ran it over. Like a plane ran it over. So I, last time I had a big trip, I think I went to Dallas, and they broke my suitcase coming back. Yeah, my suitcase broke too, I will. And they're like, um, they're like, we can prepare it for you, we can give you a replacement. And the replacement they had here in Tucson was you know, a karate one. I was like, I'm not going to take this over, you know. I like Samsonite, because they technically are supposed to be good quality, even though they're pretty mediocre. And I was like, I'm not going to take this little cheap, you know, winky dink brand, Count Chocula suitcase versus my Samsung. Samsonite. And they're like, oh, well, we can send it um, for repair, but it'll be a few weeks. And I was like, that's fine, but I'm not going to, you know, take something that's... Yeah. And I was like, well, what did they offer me? So, like, they can repair it, or we can give you another one. And I was like, well, can, um, if I get another one, can I keep the other one? Like, the one that's broken? They're like, no, you can't have it too. I was like, why? So then they sent it to get repaired, and then they called me. They're like, oh, we can't repair it, so we're just going to give you another one. And this is what we can offer you that's uh, Samsonite. Did you call and complain about yours? You should. So now we're gonna go in with the power top bits. Mary Alice, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We're gonna clean a bit, actually, in our new drill bit cleaner. Just remove any excess to fill them on here. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you guys have a quick and speedy recovery. Good afternoon. After pay, buy now, pay later. We also have Klarna on the website. We have Google Pay. We have uh, PayPal. We don't have Apple Pay, I think. I'm going to look at the number. But I don't know if Apple Pay is that popular. Apple Pay? Really? Yes, you do, because when Marissa has to send me money, she uses Apple Pay. I don't have Zell. I love Zell. That scares me because if I lose my phone, I don't want to have to be in trouble. Huh? Well, can't they like transfer money to like another account or something? Uh. Bye. Don't party too much, Ignacio. That's how she got like that. That's how she got preggers. Her husband just can't keep his hands off her. But then that isn't that bad, like too much of it, because then like your sleep, because at night it takes up like two or three hours of your time. And it was funny because then they're like, 
two or three hours, and I was like, well, that's how long the movies last. dust is super heavy. It does not float around in the air. You're not going to have, you know, lots of allergies. You're not going to have this getting into your foundation because, ugh, that is the worst thing ever. Oh, watching. Do they watch the Facebook or do they watch the Instagram? And did she know who you are? For the videos? Uh, we did already recently, uh, like a week or two ago, we did a few Halloween sets. We're almost sold out actually of the Halloween ticket volume 1 and 2. So you guys gotta get them before they're gone, because that is just a one-time print. This to the inside. Who caught the bouquet? Oops. Lisa. What's she mean? Oh. I guess you technically have to be single to go get the bouquet. I had everything. I didn't want to do that. Oh, really? <laughs> For what? <laughs> well, that's the idea! When I was a little kid, I always wanted a bouquet. Uh huh. Really? Was it a bit embarrassing or funny? Really? Out of the blue? Yeah. Aren't they dope? Somebody complained about our stickers actually and they said that they would not buy from us anymore because um, our stickers are Illuminati. So apparently I'm an Illuminati now. Because of the triangle, the eye inside the triangle and we were like, um, has she never seen the dollar bill? Does she not use American currency? If she lives here. Oops. So apparently I am now a devil. I'm not a devil. Well, I guess they are you. I don't know. Apparently I'm an Ill Illuminati now. <laughs> so now you guys, I am the cat's out of the bag. I've been outed as an Illuminati. Let me do Illuminati things. I don't know what they do. Let me uh, run the world. Let me be a Bilderberg. Let me go have lunch with, you know, uh, the Clintons and George Washington. I don't know. We're going to use the burst bit to go around the kilo chrome. What's the type of huh, challenge? That sounds interesting, I'm curious now. Did you see that Dog the Bounty Hunter is looking for someone? I don't know who he's looking for, but I was like, Dog the Bounty Hunter looks like a basketball. They eat a Tide Pod in the way. Why? <laughs> and then I was like, give me Brits crackers. Did you do any crazy dances for the wedding?
surprised Lisa didn't cry at the wedding. She's not like one of those like super emotional. Mm -hmm. Emotional. Who was the best man? Oh. Did all his family come from um, East Coast? His sister from Texas too? No, she didn't make it. What about his son? Let us know in the comments if you guys like big weddings or if you like small ones. Or if you don't like weddings at all. Some people are like, let's just elope. Because old school traditional Mexican weddings, and the next day, they was to be complaining about something. Did you see what she was wearing? You gotta see all the centerpiece too. Were they all gone by the end of the night? You didn't let anybody take them? Wow. Really? And nobody was like, oh, I'm going to take the centerpiece or anything. <laughs> You're like, they're mine. Are they real? What about your bouquet? Yeah. Do you I'll put hairspray on it so it won't dry out? If you want to keep them like dry flowers, put hairspray on them. And they'll last forever and ever. Vocabulary. Intimate weddings too. Especially for as many people as you know. Or like a beach wedding, those are nice too. Did you watch any of the movies on the, on the plane? Really? I'm gonna go see the movie about time you take it. Yes. Get some ideas. Huh? Oh, I'm starting a church on television. Call now. I'll tease out your hair, Andrea. You can be on there. My name is Andrea Garcia. And Max. Ooh! Like a themed wedding. Boho chic, a whole bunch of hipsters. My, my um, thing for my gazebo, like a very pretty pompous grass and boho. It's just so pretty. It's really so pretty. Do they have like New York stuff there too? No, because boho is like very New York, isn't it? Very Arizona that day. <laughs> but a theme wedding would be cool. Like yeah. it's like, I guess if you like something a lot. Okay. So thought with nail polish, you didn't need to buff. No, you do need to buff. You want a smooth surface unless you want the nails to be feeling like oatmeal. Like, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think. Maybe like Dungeons and Dragons. I think I've seen weddings about that. Mm-hmm. Or Disney weddings. I see lots of Disney weddings. That's an expensive one, too. Have you been to Hawaii? No, I want to go. But it's hard to get Raymond out there because he lived there for so many years. Oh, he lived in Hawaii. On which island? I think Oahu. Oahu? So, like Honolulu? Wherever the army base is. So, my husband and I got married in Vegas because it's small and intimate, only my parents and my dad. That sounds like fun. And I mean, Vegas is like. Yeah, it's a sure win. 
Mm -hmm. That would have been really nice, but so hot. Especially right now. Yeah. Like to get married in Vegas, it would be like December maybe, January. February would still be nice. But actually, I think Vegas is slightly cooler. Mm. One of my uh, clients, Denise, is in Hawaii now. Like, wow, she's been there for a long time. This month, I feel like she's been gone a month already in Hawaii. That's a long time a month in Hawaii. think of that's like Hawaiian food is um loco moco. Mm -hmm. Loco moco is a hamburger patty, a fried egg, rice, and gravy. That's like very typical Hawaiian food. What did you use to do the fill? Aquagel and pink cream. We're gonna use of course our trusty A Pink number three which is like the perfect nude on every skin color. Whenever you want a perfect nude, A Pink 3 is it. And Spam. They love Spam in Hawaii. I think outside of Korea, is like the number one Spam consumer in the world, and second is Hawaii. You're not a Spam girl? I wonder what it's made out of. Like it's made, is it made of pigeons? I can be the mood for spam. But it has so much sodium, that's my issue. Like my thighs are gonna get massive from just like the sodium and sitting all day. Let us know in the comments below if you like you some spam. Now they have like a hundred thousand flavors too. Do they? Yeah. I've seen like hickory spam. Barbecue spam. I'm like the guy in a horse gump is like shrimp gumbo. What a sad movie too. Does he stay with that girl at the end of the movie? Yes, yes you can. File them off, or just soak them off, or you can use the remover magic. So it comes down to your personal choice. You clean the rim on this one. She's been getting used. Look at that. But this color is so pretty. I use it so often. This really is like a cult favorite. Not only do 
do a nice little thin layer of wonder gel just to create a rubberized base for us to apply the stickers to. We're going, we're going to use the Russian Rose sticker. Originally we were going to do the Hardine sticker, but she saw that one she's like, I love that one. So we'll do the Hardine next time. It's a remover and a bottle, and you can check out the full description on the website. Super affordable too, and very, very easy to use. I have a few videos on me uh, demonstrating how to use it. Did you see the MTV Awards? I don't even know, they still have it. And I was in very school. Oh, thank you! And that sticker is so beautiful. And we used the BB Satin, the rose gold one. It's just really, really pretty. Yes, I wouldn't recommend doing too many fills. Like, one or two you can get away with, but more than that, I would just do a new set because we're going to be balanced so much. Might as well just do a new set. We already hit the 100 Antonio. We're good. Let him take that. Yeah, really early on in the beginning though. That's because we knew it was on dance so early on. Yes, because they say if we, if we say share, it brings down like, the views or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised because Facebook monitors everything. Worse than the CT. What is it? CT? CT? CCP. Hi. I love it. They're so stunning. So we've got a little silicone tool. So stunning. I'm obsessed with A-Pink. You know me, I'm a huge fan of the A-Pink fantasy. No. I wear a pink press-on gel with um, Dom Top and Wonder Gel. That's what I wear. Hi. Mañana va a tener que venir por él. 23 años.
the blue really pops out against it too, so pretty. I hope you love everything. I appreciate it. Aren't they chic? Uh, maybe, yeah, for sure. She likes that kind of stuff, like the evil eye and all that. Really? It's really trending right now, huh? But I like how she announced it. Like, what does she want me to do? Stop selling the sticker? Stop making it? Ask for forgiveness? I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not like over here sacrificing a goat or anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you can't find the video here, you can probably check it out on Instagram too. Monday. Very like, I guess they're kind of like punk rock, little goth, nothing too oogie boogie, very hot topic. But you know, as a brand, as a company, we have to have a little bit of everything, and I think everything that we do have is super like PG-13, like nothing too crazy. You know, I do have my... Uh, My standards. They're not very high, but I do have them. Sharon says, Love this song. Day and night, says Sharon. 
Everybody knows who my favorite Jackson is. The least talented. Good toy. Try cupping. Too intense. I want to try wood there too. Which one? What's that called? Roll over your that all over my body. No. Poop it or peep it? I don't know. Maybe a little both because they're getting, I mean, they're literally getting the wood. Do you know what it's called? Wood therapy. Wood therapy for weight loss. I'm going to Google it. So we're going to use the BB Ombre Gel from the Satin Collection. This is $1.99. This is the Velvets with Rose Gold. It's so beautiful. so bad for your health too. Yeah, because um, it's like almost being barefoot pretty much. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Good, that one for me. One minute. Did it burn? Where you shouldn't. Is it on? Did it burn on the skin or did it burn on the nail? It's on the suit. My phone is all like covered in dust now. We're almost getting. I can taste the giveaway, you guys.
Like candy. Oh, she ripped what? I don't know. Eee, that sounds painful. Do you guys like the new Barbie lamp? Isn't it adorable? That color is so pretty. It's like a satin, candy-like pink. Look how pretty it is with the sequins and the velvet with the rose gold foil in it. It's so lovely. Awesome. Oh, you gotta pick the winner now. Oh. Who's it gonna be? Lily? Where do you live, Lily? Yes, you. <laughs> do you live in America? Awesome. Well, you have 24 hours to message info at enocouture.com. Again, the email is info at enocouture.com and let them know you are today's winner for the giveaway and they'll send out your little prize. So right now I'm just taking a 240 grit file, just going over the edges just to refine the shape, make sure everything is nice and skinny mini, aka making sure the nail has its spanks on. As you guys know, I do not care for the wide philandry fantasy. Even some people do, if that's what you like, you know, more power to you, but one of you is skinny me. And that's a wrap, my loves. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo. Thanks for coming out tonight, Andrea. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.